So, for the past year, I've been trying to breed my crusted geckos. I had paired this beautiful female, which I purchased at the beginning of the year, to a male that my friend Jaffe provided. The game plan was pretty straightforward. I had two separate enclosures housing them, and once I seen the female laid unfertile eggs, then I would introduce the male inside of her enclosure. Now, I gotta admit, even though the game plan was pretty straightforward, I was a little bit nervous because I don't know much about breeding crested geckos. I know about breeding ball pythons, bearded dragons, but this was a whole new territory. I was entering the gecko zone, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know much about geckos. I do know how to take care of them, but when it comes to breeding, it's almost like a whole different science. But something cool that I did learn about breeding crusted geckos is once you paired the female once they get into this cycle where the female will lay once a month now i found that super fascinating because imagine just getting a clutch of eggs every single month once the female is in her cycle this was the first time me knowing this when i was doing my research about breeding them and i was super excited to get onto this project now before breeding any type of reptile you do need to take in consideration that it takes a lot of energy and a lot of nutrition for the female to produce eggs so a proper diet is important when it comes to breeding so what i did was increase her calcium intake just by a little bit so it could help her out with producing eggs now i had a pretty good routine when it came down to the care of these crusted geckos i was giving them food i was letting them be i was, let, I was just letting them pretty much just chill and be geckos now once i seen the female get a little bit chunky i was like okay it's any minute now that she's going to lay eggs and then one day to the next boom she laid infertile eggs now this was a really good sign for me because from that i know that she is now going to be in her cycle so what i did from there was introduce the male inside of her enclosure now i i don't know man i don't know anything about breeding crusted geckos but there was some action going on there and i was just like you know what i'm just gonna let it be maybe go turn on a candle and just let you guys do your thing <laughs> but like i mentioned before something pretty cool is once the male pretty much breeds her once that is it they are going to be giving you eggs once a month so i found that super fascinated and i was just like you know what i'm just gonna sit back and maybe not watch that's kind of weird but i'm just gonna sit back and and stare at a wall <laughs> while these crusty geckos do their thing oh my goodness i i'm i'm so excited as you can see my crusted gecko is underneath the dirt that is her head kind of just sticking out there she could kind of see us now once she pretty much had that encounter with the male she pretty much was on her breeding cycle and every single month on the 12th it was almost like clockwork i'll go inside of her enclosure and i'll look for eggs and i would always find two eggs and she did this for a good period of time and i was collecting the eggs and taking them out and incubating them inside of a container with vermiculite and a good amount of humidity inside of the container now i was super excited and same with jaffe we were both super excited because we knew that in a couple of months or in a couple of days they were going to be ready to hatch out so we pretty much just put them aside inside a room temperature and just let them be now it could be a pretty long time before the eggs are ready to hatch it could take up to 60 to 70 i've even heard stories of them taking up to 100 days for them to hatch now that is a long time to wait so what are you gonna do you pretty much just have to wait so we would wait around you know we'll always be wondering if they're ready but they weren't um and then tragedy happened it was around day 80 and i was already questioning whether or not these geckos were even going to make it i went near the bin where the geckos were pretty much incubated and i checked on them and they were super dehydrated and did not look good now what i'm about to show you is for educational purposes in case a lot of you guys were wondering what 
basically a baby crusted gecko looks like when it doesn't make it inside of the egg so i am warning you the next few clips might be a little bit graphic so maybe skip forward but it's for educational purposes so definitely stick around if you want to find out now either the temperatures weren't ideal or they could have drowned inside of the eggs or from the beginning they weren't going to make it the babies did not look good and they were not alive and we were super devastated of the outcome because we waited so long for this moment for them to hatch out and when we went to go assist them we found them pretty much dead and we were pretty upset because like i said we waited so long and we put so much effort in the project to make sure that they were going to make it and the outcome didn't go as planned now around this time i was also facetiming jaffe and pretty much just showing him and we were just talking it out and he pretty much mentioned hey aren't you supposed to be getting a clutch of eggs on the 12th and then it hit me i did not check the crested geckos enclosure last month on the 12th so i was a little bit like nah there's not gonna be any eggs but let me go head over and check just to be safe then out of nowhere as i'm searching and looking around this happened not only did i find eggs but babies started to hatch so I, not only I, was i super confused it was almost like the universe was watching over us being super devastated and was like you know what let me throw these guys a bone and let me just make sure that they're not super upset and give them some crusted geckos but i was super confused we were both on a roller coaster of emotions we were upset and then we were super happy that at least some babies did make it this thing ever that's probably the craziest time we ever made. <laughs> <Yo, laughs> it couldn't get any more crazier. Like, I literally called you to show you the eggs and they pipped. The craziest thing, too, is like we were just talking about how everything is dead. Yeah, literally. So, we are so <laughs> devastated. We come down and these guys pip. Now, these two crested geckos are super tiny. They are pretty much the size of my thumb. And honestly, they are so small and delicate that it takes a little bit of effort when it comes to feeding them and getting them used to eating on their own. Taking care of these crested geckos, you definitely start to appreciate all the little tiny things that comes with life. You start to notice that these guys definitely need a little bit of help but they are super adorable and they are super tiny so i am super happy that everything turned out to be okay with these babies unfortunately the other ones did not make it but be honest with you that is sometimes the circle of life you have some that will make it and you have some that won't so there you guys have it the crested geckos are all settled in. I'm super excited. Um, I might be doing a little bit more of the care video if you guys would like to see on how to take care of hatchlings that tiny because they're literally the size of my thumb and I don't want to mess with them too much because I don't want their tails dropping or I don't want them to fall and hurt themselves as well. So I pretty much just let them be. But if you guys would like to see more content about these babies, definitely subscribe as I will be posting more updates about them. And also head over to Jaffe's channel and check out his content as well. Um, he most likely will be posting about these crusts geckos as well if you guys would like to see more content on that and you never know there might be some available in the near future but i did want to put together this video and just share with you guys my experience when it came down to breeding these geckos because it was a little bit of the ups and downs and um you know not everything went to plan but at least we got some outcome and we learned from it as well so with that being said hopefully you guys learned a few things as well if you guys did be sure to give that thumbs up but and also be, be nice, sure to subscribe but with that so being said i'm lord of lion video, keep the know, blood pumping and i'll see you guys you. in my so next here it goes here we Peace. go you gotta hit that notification hit that notification hit that notification button baby you gotta hit that notification hit that notification hit that notification button baby you
gotta hit, 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 hit it right. Hit, 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 hit all night. Hit, 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 hit it right. Hit, 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 hit all night. You gotta hit that notification button, baby, for me.